Hello everybody, welcome to OneCoin. Good to see you guys today, almost ready. Well, we're almost ready to get started here. Hope everyone's having themselves a wonderful Sunday morning. I'm not sure how many people we're gonna have because uh, everyone's either sleeping in or at church. But uh, whoever is in here, we hope you have a good time. So uh, thank you for visiting. We'll be, we'll be on for a bit. We'll see how we go. Sunday morning. Sunday mornings are always very, very, very interesting. Anyway, we're going to warm up with some Russian attack and then do DuckTales. Then we're going to play some Simon's Quest today. How you going, Amanda? Good to see you. I'm on my third double coffee for the day here. And uh, this is the rocket fuel I'm going to basically need to get me through. How you going, Shorty Lamoth? I think... Uh, I think despite having a coffee now, after I'm done here, I'll probably sleep pretty well. How you going, Shawnee Lamoth? Everything all good? Thank you for being in here, bud. Welcome to the stream. Good morning. Good morning. Kid Jackson is in here. Bro, has your console arrived yet? I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take to deliver. Hopefully not too long. I hope you get it very, very, very soon, my friend. I, um... It's interesting. It depends on the it depends on the item. Some days the same day delivery. Some items take a week. I, I just don't know how it works on Amazon, but yeah. Anyway, hey, going, Danny. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Welcome. Hope you were going amazing. Thank you very much for being in here, you legend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we got Bill in here. Bill says Sega is. is are they really? Hang on a minute. Is Se Seeker's remastering Russian Attack? Forgive me if I find that hard to believe because this is actually a Konami game. So I, I don't know in... What, did Seeger acquire the license for Russian Attack or, or what happened? Anyway, music is slapping in this one. Konami never goes wrong with the soundtrack. Going out to you, Danny. Thank you very much. Leo, good to see you. Chrissy Turner as well, thank you for coming in. Funky Man says, oh boy, I loved it as a wee lad. Never got far. Yeah, me neither. I'm doing a little bit better now that I'm grown, but I still struggle with this game. But we'll, we'll try our luck today and see how it all goes. Oh, there it is. That's one level at least. At least I can get out of the first level without a death. Thank you so much, Danny, for the first stars of the stream, by the way. You're a good egg. You're a good wee egg. Thanks, thank you for being in here. Shikaretto, it has been a long time. Where have you been hiding? Where where have you been hiding? I'm getting a lot of these messages lately. Long time no see. Well, where, where have you been hiding is my question. Thank you for coming in all the same, though. And I love how Kaimo the but yeah, I know, right? Just so so totally military. There's bullet holes all through this freaking barbed wire right now. Man, I hate these red jumpy jumpy men. They're the worst. I call them jumpy jumpy men because they jump around like a bunch of people mentioned jumpy jumpy men. I mean, it's oh fucking bastard! I didn't realize he was gonna shoot me. Hey, go on, Aaron. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Work, 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 work. Sure. Work, 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 work. Like a really, really tired. Anyway, <laughs> we got this. You think I'm playing Metal Gear? Well, this was made by the same company, so I mean, you just think of Metal Gear if it was an action game instead of a strategy game, and and here you go, you pretty much got it, pretty much got it. All right. Oh boy, let's go. Oh, gosh. 
Don't, don't mind me, guys. I'm just, I've got my focus face on. I'm getting the high intensity game out of the way first. And then, oh my god, fucking A! Damn it, that ladder got in the way. That fucking ladder. Anyway. Ugh. I would have had a clean jump if it wasn't for that ladder, seriously. Sometimes the ladder ends up being in the worst place. Instead of jumping, it makes you climb it and you're freaking vulnerable. A lot of landmines. Well, yeah, whatever they're supposed to freaking be. Who says thanks for being on say Yeah, no, it's okay. I, I sometimes take Sunday mornings off because uh, Sunday mornings are usually uh, our quiet day of the week. And obviously, one coin only in particular has been exceptionally quiet lately for some reason, which I'm still trying to figure out. So it was it was kind of 50-50 we with coming on the Sunday morning stream, but I was like, fuck it. There'll be some people here to enjoy it. But yeah, some Sundays are 50-50, man. Sunday mornings are definitely 50-50. Alright, there we go, we made it. Is your beret great? I see what you're doing there, Damo. You're referencing the Commodore 64 version. Oh, I wasn't ready. Can we just pretend that didn't happen? I wasn't ready. Now I'm ready. I'm ready this time. Yeah, see, now, now, now I'm No, I wasn't ready. Now I'm ready. <laughs> this level's not even that hard. I'm just making stupid fucking mistakes. There we go. We got him. My gosh. How you going, Jermaine? Good to see you. Yeah, I, this was a rental for me when I first started... Uh, well, not when I first started playing games, but... I first played this game on the Commodore 64. Damn it. I'll do this again. Man, I'll, I had an itch and then I freaking died. I had an itch, everybody. I fucking had a back itch. I've got no one here to scratch my fucking... Dude, you know what? This game is about to suck my left nut if it doesn't fucking start behaving. My gosh, bro. <laughs> I beat this level and I accidentally hit the wrong save state button and now I'm paying the price. There we go, we got it. Now here's a save again. So, well, I'm just drinking coffee because I can't stay awake. Emily, thank you for the follow on uh, on TikTok. I appreciate you and a big welcome to the stream today. De depending on your region, this was also known as Green Beret. I, I played the Commodore 64 version, which was called Green Beret. And then it was super confusing because I had the NES version, which was called Russian Attack. I think, I think all the- oh, Fucking back! I think, I think all the NES versions are called, uh, Russian Attack, which is bizarre. But yes, anyway. My gosh, I I'm so glad I picked this game first, because DuckTales is going to be a special kind of chill. I just realized going up the top, you, 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 you're you more safe. So we'll, we'll go up the top here. Da, 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 suck my balls. There we go. I love the music. Seriously, I'm going to need to get Super Porn to sit uh, right next to me. Just to scratch my back the whole stream. <laughs> Lucky her. Oh my goodness, Ryback followed you on TikTok. That's pretty cool. I, I wonder what the big guy's doing these days. I was always hoping uh, he'd come back one day, to be honest, Kid Jackson. I know he's not the most popular wrestler on the planet, but I was always hoping he'd come back one day, but uh, I don't think age and injuries will permit anymore. You never know, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe one day. Duh, 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 duh. She would, yes. That's a testament to how lovely she is to me. We got this. And you're gonna miss Zylee, so yeah, I, 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 I mean, I. 
I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I used to have the hots for her, Danny, but uh, she's also a very good pro wrestler too. I remember when she made her debut at the Royal Rumble like five or six years ago. I was like, whoa, who's this chick? Um, yeah, good look. I, I, I'm sure she'll find... I think Impact would be a perfect place for someone of her, her abilities. Uh, yeah, get her to check out, uh, join the Knockouts division or whatever it is these days. Hey, gone, Edmund. Thank you for coming in. Welcome to the. Hey, gone, Edmund. Thank you for coming in. Go back this way. All right, we got this. Yeah, Rhea will be back bigger and badder than ever. Rhea's Re um. You know, if, if Rhea has a strong uh, 10 years, you know, by by time by time Rhea's, uh, you know, by time Rhea's uh, Charlotte Flair's age, she could be the new goat. I'm I'm backing really amazing. I'm backing really amazing things from Rhea, to be honest. Really amazing things. We got this. She was already going into record territory with her uh, championship reign before she got injured. I'm so I'm so frustrated for her. For her kind of injury, they could have probably protected her and maybe had her retain the belt, but uh, I guess they didn't want to take any chances. I think she'll probably be back by SummerSlam. Unless they want to bring it back hot by the Royal Rumble. Hey, go on, Moe. Thank you, babe. Hey, Superborn just shared the stream. I can always count on you, beautiful. Thank you very much. Damn, I wasn't ready for that. This, uh, yeah. You heard Rhea's pregnant? Nah. I don't think so. That, that's, that's just people spreading rumours, I think. I, I just can't see it happening only in the sense that Rhea right now is a career woman. I, 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 I don't think uh, I don't I don't think she'd be silly enough to go up the duff right now with her momentum. I mean who who, who freaking knows? I, I just I just don't see it happening though. Jeez, imagine if Rhea was up the duff, eh? Hey? <laughs> How's the new South Park Snow Day game? I'm, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I played Snow Day the first night I got it, absolutely loved it, and then it got old very, very, very quick. Because once, once, once you've played it once, you've seen everything it pretty much has to offer. There, there's no, there's no replayability to that game, and, and, and it, it defeats the purpose of what it was trying to be, actually. But. Uh, yeah, snow, snow day is a bit of a bust for me. I felt bad because I told everyone I really liked it, but it got old very quickly. Guys, Ger uh, Gerald just uh, dropped a big 310 stars. How you going, you dog? Good to see you, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in today. Good to have you. Hope you're having yourself a wonderful weekend, man. Thank you for supporting the stream. Speaking of support, we also got Patrick Kopecki in here. Yeah. So, no, I mean, I, I wouldn't pick up Snow Day unless you got an absolutely awesome sale on it, truthfully. Just, uh, just is what it is. I'm gonna go back up. Alright, there we go. We made it back up the top. Man, it's a, it's a. Oh, gosh. Hey, going, Chrissy Stringer. Good to see you. I've only a couple times been this far in the game, but ever since I've practiced and also watched uh, Joshi's playthrough, I'm slowly getting a little bit better at this game. I've only beaten it once, 150 save states later. How's my girlfriend? She's doing fine, thank you, Chris. She's just chilling out. I think I think she's doing some window shopping on one of her tie apps. 
she, she, her, her and I are very, very similar. She'll do like window shopping for like clothes. I'll do window shopping on Steam and this is like every day. Man, talk about getting cornered, hey. Alright, let's try and do the big jump over here. Fucking A, man. Alright, let's just do this up. Alright, saving from here. Let's go. Fucking hell, man. Claustrophobic. Jeez, man. The guys with the guns put you in a bit of a predicament. I guess, I guess it's somewhat realistic. Chris says this game is so cool. I'll be happy to have this one done, bro. We're very close. DuckTales next, then Simon's Quest, everybody. Oh gosh. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we made it to the end. This this bridge looks ominous. I'm pretty sure this is the end. There, there we go. Oh dude, what the fuck man? Come on now. <laughs> Alright, so. We're just going to avoid these sumbitches. All good. I think when they're on level ground... Okay, I get it. Okay, I, I get what I have to do here. Easier said than freaking done. But I... Dude! I'm trying to find the right opening there. There we go. Alright, we got it. There's this one. Alright, we got that one. Just going to wait for this sumbish and then that's it. All right, there it is. We did it. Sweet. Fuck it. Is that the last level? Or do we... I think that's the last level. No, we got the last level now. Gerald, this is called Russian Attack. In some regions, it was also called Green Beret. Wills, good to see you. Says, great morning to you, one coin only bro, and everyone else in the stream. And I see you now are on here. I am indeed, man. Thank you very much, Will. And thank you for following too. I've, if you mean TikTok specifically, uh, I've been on TikTok for a while. It's just been inconsistent because I get banned on there all the time. But that's uh, that's probably a story for another time. Yeah, thank you for reminding me because I need to stream that version again. That would have actually been a perfect version of the game to stream tonight. But uh, I didn't even think about it. Next time I stream DuckTales, yeah, I'll do the... Um, I'll do the remaster version for something different. It's not a not a bad idea, actually. You know what, uh, Danny? You are a, you are an ideas woman. You are a true ideas woman. Hey, gone, Jeffrey McNair. Thank you very much for coming in. I hope you're having yourself a great day. I'm kind of curious, Jeffrey. You you just are you a bit of a floater, or do you genuinely prefer to watch on? Uh, Kick these days. For the record, Jeff, you watch wherever the hell you bloody want, bro. But I'm curious, are you a floater or do you genuinely uh, prefer kick these days? Makes no difference to me, it's just a, a, a curious question. Um, yeah, I'm kind of curious. So we've got a lot of people watching on the other socials now. Interesting. I'd love to hear people's feedback on their favourite place to watch streams and why. Well, I might learn something if, if, if I listen. So, right, so Jeffrey says, I prefer kick, but yeah, I usually go with a book for just the like it. No, I got you, sure. Well, I, I don't know what happened, because we are just flat for ages, but all of a sudden, we've started to build up our kick presence a little bit. I mean, it's not consistent. We'll have some busy days, and we'll have some quiet days, but, uh, yeah. So, so, some, some days I get thoroughly surprised over there. Hey, going, Gregory? Good to see you on Kick. Thank you for coming in. Welcome to the stream. Only one level left after this, guys. We're we're killing it here. I don't think this game is that long, but because I always get so freaking stuck, cunty, really. <laughs> Let's climb up on this building. And Payron says, uh, "What's shaking? That's a totally dirty and fucking a." That is a very dirty and disgusting question, Payron, for the record. 
All right, we got this. Du, 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 suck my balls! There we go. This is called Rush Air to everyone that's asking me this game. It's called oh, for fuck's sake. You know what this game is called? Suck my balls. That's what it's called. No. This game's called Russian Attack or Green Beret, depending on what region you're from. That's what the game's called for the 500th fucking time, motherfuckers. Oh, God. Here we go. There we go. I think I just need to be a little bit more patient today. Don't take it personally. <laughs> Your boy one corner just needs to be a little bit more patient today. I'm self-aware, guys. By the way, I want to give my friend uh, a big thank you for the diamonds that I certainly don't deserve, but I'm 100% appreciative of. Thank you very, very much. What is that? Uh, your name's upside down. I'm trying to see what your name is. Damn it, guys. Fuck, let's try again. I need to get back in the zone here, guys. Oh, dude. Fuck. Man, I was in the zone before, and now I've lost it. And so KGB says, thank it's called Thank God for Safe States. Yes. And uh, you sound like quite the smart ass, so you can go into t timeout, you fuck. There we go. <laughs> I don't like to be mocked by peasants like you. There we go. We got this. <sighs> Fucking hell. I might just move on to DuckTales now. I'm a little bit rattled. I was going to beat that game, but yeah. I don't need trolls breaking my balls today. Alright, let's go. Then we're going to do a quick playthrough of this, guys, and we're going to jump into Simon's Quest. Yes. Well, hopefully I don't get trolled for this one, too. Hey, God, Navy, man. Thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're having a great day. We've got Cherie in here. Thank you for coming in, Cherie. Isaiah, good morning. Uh, but I'm kind of curious, did you guys get your notifications on the blue today, or did you actually just turn up? Yes, we're going to do alright with DuckTales. I know how to play DuckTales. I, I was kind of trying to learn how to play um, Russian Attack on the fly, but I've still got some work to do. I was just trying to learn that game on the fly. I, I haven't properly mastered it, obviously, yet. How you going, Jason? Thank you for being in here. Welcome. Navy man says, I just turned up. Well, hey, dude, I appreciate that, bro. You could be anywhere, and and, and yet you've decided to come to uh, one point only, so we appreciate it. Russian attack looked tough. Uh, look, it is, but I, it was more of me problem, to be honest. I just lost focus. Bro, Russian attack, when you, when you get, find a sweet spot and you get into the zone, it's actually not that bad. But... Uh, it's uh, it's it's a it's a game that you kind of have to give 100% attention to. Not not really the easiest of games in a stream environment, but I'll improve and I'll get better. So it's all good. It'll just take some time. And playing it will help beat or eat it. Yes, it's still on the beat or eat it wheel. First two levels are not that bad. I do I do win the Russian attack challenge sometimes. Yes. You know if that's a walking stick? No, it's it's like a 12-inch duck budu. That's what it is. He's hitting them with a 12-inch duck budu.
Goldfish duck will do everybody. You can get Dragon Ball Z toilet paper in a six pack in Japan for $45. But why? Uh, uh, why? I mean, why would you wipe your ass with $45 toilet paper and something that's clearly supposed to be a collector's item? <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I, I tell you what, our Japanese friends have a gimmick. A lot of gimmicks that don't always make sense to us uh, people in the West, but I tell you what, they profit from them. I, t I tell you what, our friends in, in uh, Japan have the entrepreneurial s spirit because they profit on a lot more things over there than what we can here. <laughs> hey, going, Brian? Good to see you. Yes. Going, going, super cyan on the asshole. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. I mean, yeah, you, 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 you would spend if you want to get the nicest toilet paper possible. You might spend twenty dollars for like the the six ply. <laughs> but yeah, whatever, I guess. <sighs> Big thank you once again for watching. As you guys can see, I'm a lot better at this one than I am at uh, Russian attack. Should really just play to my strengths, huh? Hello, Gavna. Good to see you, Thomas. Thank you for hanging out today, brother. Appreciate you. All right, I think the boss is just over here. I think I think my quickest time ever beating Ducktales uh, was uh, 20 minutes flat. This was off screen, off stream. So it really isn't that big. It, it always seemed like a lot bigger game than what it actually was. You actually beat Batman on the any. Oh, good, good on you, Payron. That's a tough game. Hey, go on, Ethan. Good to see you. I might have a proposition for you, actually, uh, Payron. Do you know how to record gaming video cleanly? I, 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 I get some people to make gaming uh, videos for me. From, from time to time on the channel. And, uh... Well, not, I'm not trying to get palm out all my work to other people, but if there's anything you ever... Put it this way, Payron. If there's ever anything you want me to showcase that you want to film, let me know. Put it, let's put it that way. I, I keep forgetting you used to record your gaming videos. Hey, go on, Thomas. Good to see you. No, that's okay. I thought you knew because you used to stream. That's all right. Don't worry about it, bro. I, I I remember you used to stream for a small amount of time, so I thought you did all that stuff. It's all good. By the way, uh, yo, mate, thank you for the uh, share. Ethan, thank you for the follow, and a very big hello to Ethan. Um, not... Thank you so much for the diamonds as well. Uh, please do not feel ignored, anyone. Uh, don't forget, copy and paste is your friend if I ever miss any comments, guys. Jug juggling uh, five platforms at once is a big challenge, but I usually do a pretty good job of it. But, I mean, if I do miss anything, just let me know. Hey, God Walkman, good to see you. We've got Woody. Thank you very much for coming in. I hope you're great. Hey, go on, Nigel. A very good morning. Good morning. It's great to see you, mate. Good morning. How are you, Nigel? I hope you're great. I added your uh, 
Oh, you've seen them already, I think, but I added your new screens, brother. Oh, that was close. I've got to watch what I'm doing here. Anthony says DuckTales, woo -hoo. I have to admit, I mean, I watched a little bit of DuckTales, but usually when it came to Disney as a kid, I, I would listen to the catchy theme song and then go to another channel to watch different cartoons. What the fuck was I doing there? I'll tell you what I was being there. I was, I, was, I was being a right cunt. That's what I was doing right there. Fucking hell. Get that bat. Why can I not get that bat? I'll tell you why, because he, he's a fucking asshole. That's... Oh. oh, gosh, really? We, we're going to play it like that today, are we? Oh, Mr. Says, I've only been able to do one at a time since your PC went down two weeks ago. Yeah, man, I can't even begin to imagine what a pain that is. I was actually literally about to get my new gaming laptop yesterday and then I was like no rush I've got I've got between now and and, and June the 4th to get it so uh, just just having a look still seeing if I can get a better deal on better specs between now and June so yeah anyway says I think about buying uh, a mini PC for retro I can do it on PC but with mini PC you can take it with you man you, you can pretty much if, if all you want to do is stream retro off emulation bro you can do that off a brick why not if it means it's compact and you can take it with you dude I I, I, I mean I have, I have a gaming laptop but I mean dude I stream everywhere I go so I'm the same Hope you're doing great, by the way, Krista. Thank you for being in here. Simple says your play style of leaving gems is not very Scrooge McDuck style. Simple, you're not being a backseat gamer now, are you? I I I'm going to let you in on a little simple. Leaving things behind is not professional, but uh, being a completionist just to stroke one's ego is boring as batshit to watch. So yeah, leaving things behind, I own it, not professional. But uh, yeah, being a completionist to stroke your own uh, voodoo is uh, boring as batshit to watch. So yeah, that's all I got to say. I haven't emulated Switch games yet. The highest I've gone is 3DS for handheld. Yeah, good on you, Krista, enjoy. Why, why are you looking at Japan now? First you wanted to go to Thailand, and now you want to go to Japan. Make up your fucking mind, Peyron. <laughs> Although, with that being said, at least you're curious about the world. It, it's a shame that you don't have the money to go to Thailand right now, Peyron, because uh, I just paid the cheapest price for my trip uh, since uh, I've been with Moe. Uh, as you guys know, I was there six times in one year when we first got together. This is probably my cheapest price I got on the trip in, in seven or eight trips. So I, I, got, a, I got a really good deal. So it's, it's, a, it's a shame you're not going now, bro, because it's low season and it's uh, a lot more affordable. How you going, Joshy Newsom? Thank you for being here. Welcome, buddy. I hope you're great. Uh, over here, if I buy a ticket now, it costs weight. That's pretty much the going rate, bro. Like the going, yeah, that's that's the going rate, man. If if, if you can get a uh, a one thousand dollar return ticket to Thailand I, from America, I would take it. Honestly, you're not going to get any better than that. And what airlines that with? That that's a going rate for Thailand, bro. About that price, Australian. That, that's a, that, that's a, that's a cheap rate since COVID.
Woody says DuckTales 1 or 2. Well, I don't know how to play DuckTales 2, to be honest. I'd like to learn the second one, but I haven't learned it yet. There we go, we're almost at the end, yo. I, I, I actually love it how Peyron has stars on his eyes. But I, I kind of feel like you're a little bit ADD. I think you just need to set your mind on like one thing, like either buy this or go there and then work towards that. Cause you, you kind of clutter yourself a bit, I think, bro. I think I think you clutter yourself. One minute you're like, I want to buy another 100 NES games. And then you're like, I want to go to Japan. And then you're like, I, I, I want to go to Thailand. And then you're like, dude, you just, just pick one thing. And, and then do that, and then knock over another thing after that. <laughs> Where is Gizmo Duck? Oh, you'll see him pretty soon. Well, some people like to collect physical medium, Woody. There's nothing wrong with that. And plus, you could argue that they're an investment too. They'll be worth a fair bit in the future. You could argue. Uh, I, I always like the aisle seat. I, I prefer the window seat, but if I have the aisle seat, I have access to the bathroom without interrupting anybody. Yeah, we, we're gonna do Simon's Quest after this one, everyone. Fuck it. I'm not waiting there all day. a five terabyte retro set oh good job i'm actually thinking uh, of buying the playstation 3 hard drive uh from microcade it's kind of like a mini hard drive pc that you connect to your computer and it runs everything i'm thinking of getting the microcade uh ps3 hard drive and, and maybe even the ps2 one too Thinking about it, thinking about it. I'll see where we're at at the end of the month. I think that could really help my streaming, especially if I'm on the go. Actually, that would be really handy for the go, having everything on one spot. Yeah, that would be really, really handy, actually. Just singing out loud, don't mind me. Oh, you use Launchbox. I never used Launchbox before. I, 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 it feels like a lot of programs use Retro Arch. I think Retro Arch is fine for emulation. I, I don't like it for uh, clone consoles, though. I feel like it's really inconsistent on some things. Does, does anyone know uh, an operating system that runs better than Retro Arch on a clone console? Not, not, not a big fan of Retro. Like for emulation on my PC. I, I think I think Retro Arch is cool for certain games. I just, I just don't want that as my operating system. Not not a fan of it, honestly. Yeah, no, I got you, Nigel. A lot of people do that. Oh, na 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 na, drive a car. Right, sure. Good to good to know, man. I'm just hoping these clone consoles will start doing the PS3 stuff too. When they do, it'll be an absolute game changer. My, my, most consoles only go up to Dreamcast so far. They they haven't got the PS2 emulation perfect yet. It's getting there. surprising at how big some of those PS2 files are, even though they're 20 years old, hey. Some of those PS2 games are huge. Mm. 
Na 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 na, gonna drive a motor car. We're out of here. I'm sure there's gonna be a health item here somewhere. I knew it. Just a hunch that I had. How you going, football? Good to see you. Yeah, and, and you know, it's funny because even though, like, oh, I mean, obviously the Dreamcast is an older uh, software. Um, I didn't realize PS2 games ran on RPCS3. I thought only PS3. That's interesting. I thought only PS3 games ran on that, so that's really, really interesting. It runs PS2 games as well, huh? Really? I had no idea. But does it run uh, PS2 games better in PCSX? Yeah, I've, I've got the PCSX 1.6, which is the latest one. But does, uh, does, um, RPCS3 run uh, PS2 better? That's a problem. Mo mo I mean, most games run, but they don't all run efficiently. That's right. Oh, okay. Let's keep it going. Almost up to Simon's Quest, everyone. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. We're going to have a good time this morning. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. I will be back on in the evening. Don't know what I'm streaming in the evening yet. Got no freaking idea, honestly. I could use some advice off people. I'm at the point where I could really use some advice off people. Who who wants to give me some advice? Who, who, who wants who wants to give me some advice? A, a, anyone in here want to give me some advice? Because I have a question. Who who wants to give me some advice? Mario Kart Sunday, nah, I just, uh... Mario Kart Sunday is gonna continue ASAP, but I don't trust the algorithm for it at the moment. Well, I'm, I'm hoping, uh, 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 next week I'm gonna do the 24 hour marathon. The week after I'm hoping we can bring back Mario Kart. I, I just don't trust it at the moment. It's not your fault, guys. It's 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 the blue brand. So what 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 I I I'm at the point now where I've been streaming seven years in June. And, and so I'm kind of going through this thing where you guys, even though I play a lot of games, you've all seen what I play a hundred million times to death. Um but when I try and do something new. It never seems to really be embraced. Like, for example, I did Undisputed the other night, and, and we had a very smidgen of our regular audience. So my question, and this is a genuine question, is what does one do when you guys have already seen all my main games to death, but when I try and do new things, it's not embraced? I, I'm just at the point where I, I don't know what to fucking do anymore. So that that's my question. It's a genuinely heartfelt question. <laughs> if I was to do Mario Wonder again, I'd probably start from scratch, but that's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. Alright, let's load up Simon's Quest. There we go, everybody. That that is not the wor that is not the worst suggestion I've ever heard, Damo. Thank you very much. Um Oh, here we go. I think I think this is the beginning of the game, so we just skip the grinding. This is the beginning of the game, so we can skip the grinding. Want to buy holy water? Here we go. Let me just turn the volume up on this bad boy. Thank you, Tony. Noah says can do a poll. Um, I got flagged for sexually suggestive content on TikTok, by the way. 
Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some credit, Noah, on the on a surf I'm gonna give you some credit, Noah, because I'm gonna tell you this. On a surface level, that's actually really, really, really good advice. But you you give your audience a vote and they they don't uh, follow through with the commitment when you give them a say. So for example, if I'm like, oh what would you like to see me play? Final Fantasy or Super Mario? You might get them all be like, oh, we haven't seen Final Fantasy for a while. And then you'll put on a Final Fantasy, for example, and they won't turn up. This is just an example. I'm not meaning Final Fantasy specifically. So, you're, you're, you're on, on a surface level, your advice is, 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 would seem very logically good. But uh, it doesn't work out that way. And, and again, XXC. I mean, he's saying try other systems. Commodore 64, Spectrum. Logical advice, bro, but that's that that ain't gonna cut it either. Yes. Anyway, no, you see, I'm getting some good advice, on, but it's on a logical level. But yeah, it's just. The streaming is far from logical. <laughs> Aaron's just throwing out games. Yes, okay. Well, hey, look, you know what? E even though I haven't gotten the answer I wanted, I, I, I still appreciate your point of view, everyone. So, th thank you. I might have not gotten the answer uh, I wanted, but I, I appreciate it all the same. So, thank you and good night. David says GTA is always a draw. You know what? GTA always is a draw. And I am due to play through the story mode of GTA 5 a little bit. Um, I mean, I'll, I'm not going to lie. I'd feel like I'd be selling out a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I'd be feeling like I'm selling out a little bit. Become the cod god you know you are. But you are right, GTA is, is always a draw. Can't deny that. I have people shout out a request, and if I have it or get it, I will play it. Well, there you go, mister. No, so this is the problem, David. So the good news is Vice City is my favourite. Um, the bad news is if I am to play Vice City, I can't play any music because I keep getting flagged for the, for the tunes. I keep getting flagged for the tunes. Shane says, and yes, I play a lot of NES, my friend. I'm not trying to find problems for your suggestions, but the, 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 as I said, the, the logical's not always the best response in, in this uh, instance. <laughs> I do appreciate everyone giving feedback, but I'm just... Uh, I, I mean, I, I mean, I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'm, I've, got, I've got a confession for everyone. Would you guys like a confession? Do, do you guys want a saucy confession? Because I've got a confession. Um, so sometimes, my, my confession is sometimes when I'm late to the stream, it's not because I'm tardy or unorganized or, or because I can't be bothered getting up on time. Most of the time when I'm ever late to the stream, it's because I'm sitting in this chair for 45 minutes and I can't figure out what the fuck to stream. That, that, that's a confession for you. So most of the time when I'm late, it's not because I'm tardy or deliberately unorganized or because I can't be bothered getting myself ready in time. It's because I'm sitting here for 45 minutes and I have no idea what I'm picking. <laughs> By the way, we get a big shout out going out to Starbucks for the $2 super chat. Going out to you, Starbucks. Thank you very, very much, lovely. One says, Rick, what is your most successful time to stream currently? Nothing. So, the, the way I describe it is, uh, business-wise and support-wise, 10 out of 10. So, th there ain't a single complaint, like, with any donations or anything financial. I'm incredibly blessed. But if you're talking about, like, a viewership-wise, uh, or a growth wise or anything like that. It's all 100% shit at the moment. 
So it, 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 again, it's a double-edged sword. There we go. We got the stake, everybody. We're gonna go down. That, look, you know what, Foosh, that is not the worst suggestion. But, uh, I mean, you've seen me do things like Resident Evil remakes and stuff lately, and they haven't really been drawing in the crowd. I guess I could do other AAA games. So this, I don't want to do a big 40-hour AAA game. And I'll tell you why. If I start a 40-hour AAA game and people don't turn out, turn up, I'm fucking stuck with a 40-hour game that no one wants to watch. So if I'm going to do new stuff, it has to be short, to-the-point stuff, like a Resident Evil remake, or, or something that can be beaten in one or two streams tops. Like, uh... Like, let's just say, for example, I pick God of War on PlayStation 4. And I have a quarter of my audience turn out. Well, I'm stuck with a 40-hour fucking game. Uh, with, with no one watching. Anyway, it's all good. You haven't played King's Bounty in a while. Yeah, I, I'd like to, but I just don't trust anything right now. I, I, I guess I'll just leave this topic alone. I'm not going to get any empathy from anybody. You, 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 you all have no idea how fucking shit the algo is right now. You got no idea. I hope you're doing great, by the way, Robbie. Thank you very much for coming in. That is true, XSC. I don't disagree with you. I was talking about the Robocop stream. You know, how many hours long is the Robocop game? About 12 hours? I could maybe try and beat that in one sitting. I, I wouldn't really want to stream that for more than two streams tops. So, you know what? I could probably try the Robocop game. Yeah, fair call. But I'd want to be done with it in two streams tops. I I'd want to be done with it in two streams tops. I could. Yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's not that big a game. I think it's 12 hours. I could probably knock it over in two streams, I think, isn't it? A anyone in here beaten the PS5 Robocop? How long is it? Metroid made the front page. Yes, I love Metroid, but I, I also don't want to oversaturate the stream with Metroid. You know, I'll probably play that once a fortnight. You know, if I play Metroid every week, eventually you will get sick of it. Alright, we almost out of here. Fair, fair enough, CK. Thank you for your feedback. Hey, you guys, Mr. Cuddle. Thank you again. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a great day. And, and by the way, Danny, if you're still in here, absolutely. And guys, we want to give Robert a great big thank you for nearly 2,300 uh, days of followage. That's pretty incredible. What other games would parallel Metroid to the same effect? So... Okay, let, let me explain it to you like this, Demo. If, if you were talking to me... Um... Like, let's just pretend you're talking to OneCoin only six months ago. And you were like, Rick, what games do you play that are absolute bombs that bring all the boys to the yard? I would say games like Punch-Out, maybe Zelda 2, maybe Metroid, um, maybe something WWE related, maybe old Resident Evil. Now, six months later, if you ask me the same question, I have not a sing one single game in my library that I'm confident with anymore. Not one. So, that, that, that's where we're at right now. Babe, thank you very much. Don't misunderstand me, though. I, 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 I believe in myself. No, don't misunderstand me. I believe in myself. But I don't believe in my library. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe in my gaming library anymore. There's a difference. Uh, babe, thank you very much. What are we going to give to Superport? Oh, we're going to do this one for you, babe. Good morning, my neighbor! Thank you, beautiful. I appreciate that. Yeah, 
Yeah. No, th there you go. I didn't realize Nigel uh, Combo played the whole thing. Once again, Mr. Cuddle, thank you very, very, very much for the uh, the diamonds. I really, really appreciate it and appreciate you. Thank you so much. Hey, go on, Jeremy Aggressor. Thank you very much for coming in. I hope you're great. There he is, Cobo. Thank you for coming in. I didn't even realize you did a full playthrough of Robocop. I feel like a bad friend for not paying attention. <laughs> I feel, I feel like, I feel like, a, I feel like a bad friend. I'm like a, a very bad friend. It's all right, Cobo. I promise to do better. Yeah, Super Porn and I will play Streets of Rick Rage one day next week. So that that's happening. That that's gonna happen. Are oh, we gonna go into this town and get the blue uh, crystal? As I said, I, I mean, I'd be willing to play it if I finish it in one uh, in two streams tops. Thank you, one. I appreciate it. Thank you. I, I do. I appreciate you all very much. I don't know, man. I just, I just don't know how everything's gone so pear shaped so quickly. <laughs> Two seven and a half hour streams easy. If it's taken you fifteen hours. It'll probably take me 18 hours. I'll, I'll admit those kind of games you're better at me at. So if it if it takes combo 15 hours, it's probably going to take me 18 hours. Thank you, Foosh. That is a positive thing, isn't it? That is a positive thing. Baby steps, I think. Baby steps. That's a really, really good question. I would like to do one big game for a marathon eventually. Just not this one coming up. But, you know, I could do, like, a Robocop for a, a marathon. Or a Final Fantasy X. Or a, or a, a Grand Theft Auto V complete playthrough. These, these are all solo games I could definitely do for a marathon. And would be incredibly ambitious to do. I'm just not going to do it yet. I'm, I'm still conditioning myself for regular 24-hour marathons again. Yeah, but I shoot like a stormtrooper, uh, Como. Yeah, dude. As, as I said, I want everyone to know, when it comes to community support, everything's 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I, I would not change... A single thing when it when it comes to community support, guys. I, I'm not fucking greedy. Ten out of ten. It, it, it's absolutely ridiculously. I, I'm completely overachieving in that department, Steve. It, I, I, I'm aware of this. I'm completely overachieving. Uh, I, I rage quitted my last Mega Man option. It was it was just too, it was too exhausting. The, 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 yeah, I stopped doing 12-hour marathons for a while because I got really burnt out from a Mega Man marathon. The, the, one, I, one, I, I started off strong. I did a Me Mega Man 11, Mega Man 1, 2, and 3. And then when I got into the more obscure Mega Man games, my chat absolutely died. And here I was left playing balls hard Mega Man games with, with a dead chat. And so I was just like, fuck you guys, I'm out. <laughs> like, literally... A marathon of hard Mega Man games with a dead chat. It's like, sorry guys, I like you, I don't love you. <laughs> anyway, we got this. 
Oh, there you go. Jeff says, I'm starting Sunday off with some junk food. Uh, and Macca's Brekkie with OJ is healthy-ish. Well, I mean, it depends what you got for the Macca's Brekkie, to be fair. Let, let, let me put it to you this way, Nigel. If, if I can't get any re re retention for modern Resident Evil games, what makes you think uh, people are going to want to watch The Quarry? And let me also add something, another problem to you guys. I tried to recently do uh, Little Hope, which is a very similar game recently, and I had to pull out because people wouldn't shut up over the dialogue. That's another problem we got. Anytime we do a story-based game, People just want to talk over the dialogue and not listen to the stories. That's another issue we have. You, 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 can't, you, can't even, you can't even listen to the dialogue. People expect you to answer their question over the fucking dialogue. So, yeah. That, that's another issue. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff says, uh, sausage and egg and cheese muffin, greasy uh, calorie bomb. A uh, sausage and egg McMuffin's not that bad. If you have two sausage and egg McMuffins, that's half your daily calorie intake. But if you have just one with a coffee, you, you can fit that into a balanced diet for breakfast. It's going to leave you hungry, though. Hey, how you going, Shawnee Clark? We have a tradition for Halloween where every year we play uh, until dawn. But maybe this year we'll do a double Halloween special and we might do Until Dawn in the Quarry. Because I do like the Quarry. I think it is a good game. When I, when I get my gaming laptop, I'm setting up the wheel again, Damo. When, when I get my new gaming laptop, I'm, I'm setting up a wheel again. So that will happen. Hey gone, Bernardo. Thank you for coming in. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're great. Jamaz is in here. Very big welcome. David said I went to the donut shop before the sun went up. Man, you you sell donuts first thing in the morning. That's freaking awesome. Which donut place sells donuts at like six in the morning? I mean, I guess cops have to work twenty four seven, don't they? <laughs> I guess those cops are. Need donuts every hour of the day. That's not the worst idea I've ever heard either. Like if you play some like retros or something at the start of the stream, and then do a story-based uh, stream afterwards, when everyone's calmed down, that is actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. That's actually uh, probably the best suggestion I've gotten so far, Demo. I'm not being patronising either, I mean it. <laughs> that's, that's actually a pretty good idea. What time is it here? It's 11pm guys, 11pm here. And McKnight says I look stupid as. Yeah, I do kind of look stupid. I get more sex than you, but... Sorry, Moe, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh, gosh, anyway. Right, let's keep going. Oh, there we go. Jeez, that's pretty low brow, McKnight. Pretty low brow, sir. <laughs> Good try. And so one just asked a very, very, very good question. You know, this is a very good question because I think it's going to be different for everybody. Um, one says, Rick, what was the golden era of streaming for you? I have two. Uh, I have two, possibly three. Um, so, okay, I have two, possibly three. Okay, I have three golden eras for gaming, alright? My first golden er uh, era is the rise of the NES. Because the video game industry almost crashed to absolutely nothing after a bunch of abysmal looking garbage games. And then just for like a phoenix from the ashes, out came the NES and basically revolutionized home entertainment. So I would say the first golden age of gaming for me 
uh, was uh, the NES. Uh, the second golden age for me was the PlayStation 1 era because it introduced an exciting new 3D uh, 3D genre without the need of a home PC. So I would say the second golden age was the PlayStation 1 era. And then the third golden age was uh, the PS2 era when they started uh, to finally perfect uh, cinematic 3D games in that era. It still wasn't perfect, but that's that, that was basically the grandfather of, of what we have of modern gaming today. So my three golden eras would be the NES golden era, the PlayStation 1, and then the PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2 was such a big freaking jump up. Uh, but anyway, yeah. There you go, that's an interesting topic. Fuck, that would have made a good podcast. <laughs> that would have made a good pod po po uh, podcast. Yeah, dude, what a famous press conference that was, hey? Reveal conference, whatever it was. Let me just get some water. Thank you, Robbie Porter. Good to see you. Man, I had a great team carrying me through that game, but we had a lot of fun, Robbie. We had a lot of fun. Uh, I tell you what, Damo, Josh, and Kevin were really good dance partners. I I'll definitely play uh, online games with them again anytime. Our great dance partners. Thank you again for coming in. We got uh, JK's One Eye Gaming in here. Good to see you, brother. Thank you for hanging out and shooting the shiz with us today, bro. All right, we're just going to the other side of the map, you legends. Did it, did it, did it, did it, suck my balls. Anyway. Ugh. Have I ever played Alien Isolation? Back in the early days of 1.0, that was the stuff I streamed. Man, I kind of... These are all the games I used to stream on 1.0 and, uh... You know, I, I could... I could stream some more modern games. But it's gonna be like one step back to go two steps forward again, and it could take a long period of time. I think if I played a few more modern games, we would take a really severe hit initially. It'd be a big risk. I'm not afraid of danger, but I mean, I am afraid of one point only going to nothing. And then having to go get a job at McDonald's because I can't stream anymore. Hey on Steam Row, good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Count Chocula, I keep forgetting about that, Sue. I've never ever tried Count Chocula. I've heard of it, but I've, I've never tried of it. You can get a whole pile of American cereals here. They get sold everywhere now. But I, I'm gonna try and maybe... Do they still sell Count Chocula? Hope you're going great, by the way, Steam Row. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, I'm doing good, Justin. I'm just doing this, and then I'm gonna... Well, I won't be going to sleep straight away, because uh, I've just had a coffee. <laughs> they do sell Count Chocula. I know Captain Crunch. I know I know Captain Crunch is your big favourite chocolate. Uh, uh, apparently, Captain Crunch is uh, famous for cutting up your mouth. Apparently. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that, Steamro. I'm sorry that you went through that, by the way, too, brother. But glad to hear that you're on the up and up, you legend. All, all good, homie. I tell you what, whenever I get a hold of American cereal, I don't even eat it like cereal. I usually snack it out of the box. I'm not gonna lie, whenever I get American cereal, I don't eat it like a cereal. I, I just snack it out of the box. Out of the box. Oh, that's right. They have the Berry Captain Crunch too, don't they? Uh, yeah. You have to do this one. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Oh, there you go. So what, what, uh, what Foo says he likes about Captain Crunch 
is it never gets so uh, soggy. Well, no wonder it cuts the fuck out of your mouth when you eat it. Robbie says, hell, I'm not going to lie. I had some Fruity Pebbles yesterday, last night, because I couldn't go to sleep. I'm not going to lie, guys. I prefer Fruit Loops. I don't like the texture of Fruity Pebbles. Hey. I I, I just, I just, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Fruity Pebbles. When it, I, I, I feel like texture is everything. And I just don't feel like it's solid enough. Like when, when it comes to fruit cereal, I prefer the, the Kellogg's Fruit Loops. If I'm going to have something fruity, it needs to have a freaking crunch to it, yo. Gotta have a crunch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you never like the Fruity Pebble? Yeah, out of all the American cereals I've had, that's probably the only one I don't like. And I don't hate it, I just, I just wouldn't eat it again, by choice. It's not like I hate it, it's just, yeah. And so Justin says you like Raisin Bran. Well, that'll keep you regular. <laughs> that'll keep you regular. You won't need to take the daily fiber therapy when you eat that. What about tricks? Yeah, I, I, yeah we, we have stuff that's similar in Aussie. At least we used to. What the fuck? I went the wrong way, everybody. Oh, hold up. Dude, piss off, you little fucking night fuck. Excuse me. Hey, Robbie says your number one favorite cereal is Frosted Flakes. They're, they're good, like the Frosties. I like the Kellogg's Crunchy Nut Corn Flakes, which is kind of instead of a Frosted Flakes, it's like a Honey Glazed Flakes, but it's also got like uh, nuts in it and stuff too. The crunchy nut cornflakes. I remember in Australia they used to do the American commercials for it. And so Nigel says maybe you could have a separate brand for the morning streams. Well, you know what, Nigel, at this point, uh, I've almost got nothing to lose because my, my morning streams have almost gone down to complete zero. So, well, actually, we're doing okay now, but at the first hour is torture. We're doing okay now, but the first hour is torture. Alright, well, I mean, that will just take some pre-planning. You know what they say, Nigel? Prior preparation prevents piss-poor performance. And, hey, look, we're, we've been pretty much sinking to zero on Facebook in the morning, so we've got nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. That's, that's not a bad idea. I, I, I don't want to be hasty, though. I've got to plan this out. Hey, go on, Brian. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Invest in an oak steak. Yeah, I'd love to. Thanks. I, I like steak. No, well, you know what, dude, it's it's all good, bro. And I know, I know, dude, man, I, I think the thing with life is that things don't always stay good, but the things don't always stay bad either. I, I've, I've learned that things can change very quickly in both directions. If I take that philosophical approach to my streaming, I'll probably be a lot more calm, actually. I almost sound like a hypocrite, but things can change very quickly on both ends. I guess it's just easier from the outside looking in, perhaps. Yeah. I think things change very quickly, full stop, whether they're good, bad, or in the middle. Hey, how you going, Brian? How's everything going? You good, brother? Thank you for being here. I can't believe I've already done three mansions. I can look out. This is going to be like my quickest finish time ever. Kyrie. Good to see you. Welcome to our stream. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to see you, mate. Damo says, what was the newer version of King's Bounty? Oh, Heroes of Might and Magic. Heroes of Might and Magic. So, um, you had King's Bounty, and then the same company produced Heroes of Might and Magic. If you play the Heroes of Might and Magic game on PS2, it's a HD edition of uh, King's Bounty. It's completely copied. So all they did was took, take the Sega Genesis King's Bounty 
and give it 3D graphics. So if you want to play King's Bounty modernized, play Heroes of Might and Magic on PS2. It's freaking dope. Um, yeah. Um, Justin, thank you so much for the big 100. And then they also rebooted King's Bounty itself on, on Steam. Thank you, Mastermind. Yeah, man, it's, it's falling into place today, huh? No complaints from me. Guys, I've got to give Justin a great big thank you. What do we do for Justin? This one. Thank you, homie, so much. Like I said, Legends, if you want to help out 100% for free, just hit the thumbs up button, hey? See if we can get to over triple digits on the reactions. And so Steam Rose says, what's your favorite retro game? By all, if I had to pick one, I mean, if I had to pick one, I think it's pretty obvious. It's Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I think if I told anyone something else apart from Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, they'd probably call me a liar. Now, I have a top five, but Mike Tyson's Punch-Out's probably number one. Probably. And, and it, it helps that I'm really, really good at that game, too. I, I think I get away with playing it so much because uh, I do such a good job at it. Yeah. There, there's not too many games I can show off in, but Punch-Out's one of them. I've actually got a video uploading in the afternoon of the whole major circuit without taking any damage. So check out the Punch-Out! video we upload later on today. Uh, we beat Don Flamenco, King Hippo, uh, Great Tiger, and Bull Bill Bull without taking a single punch. So, uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Damn it, I have to farm for rupees again. It's all right. Yeah, so, so check that out in your travels anyway. Yes. And I'll do the world circuit without damage eventually for you guys too. So do Pompinski will be tricky, but yeah. Mikey says, good old Simon's Quest. Yes, it is. <laughs> Big Castlevania has Turtles vibes. I mean, dude, it's, it's, I mean, it's made by the same people. We got lewd nude cartoon art in the freaking house. Good to see you, legend. Thank you for being in here. That'd be great. Yeah, exactly. De Demo said it best. Konami vibes. That's pretty. That's pretty much it. And yeah, that's up. That's already scheduled to upload. Josh, it is. <laughs> yeah, I promise. It's been uploaded. I've just been uh, separating them because I don't want to upload too many Master Blaster videos in a row. So this is what's upload scheduled. I've got the next three three days scheduled, and so I've got the Punch Out video scheduled. I've got your Contra video scheduled, but this time just the ending. And then I've got Blaster Master scheduled. So out of the next three videos, Josh, two of them are yours. <laughs> so don't, I, I, I share the fuck out of your shit, man. It helps me tremendously. Josh, don't don't feel like you've been uh, been let down, my brother. Just spreading them out. But yes, out of my next three video uploads, two of them are yours. I promise. You, you have not been forgotten. I, I value your time very much. Don't pay the fairy man. Some people don't pay the fairy man. They probably just give him a gobby for a free ride instead. I'm just saying. Hey, gone, Yano. Thank you for coming in. I hope you're doing great, man. Thank you so much for coming in. The red crystal allows you to unlock the tornado to take you to the secret area. How are you supposed to figure that out with Nintendo Power? I've got no freaking idea. But no red crystal means no secret area. Which means no beating the game. Now how one is supposed to figure that out without Nintendo Power is beyond me. Don't pay the ferryman, don't even suck his nuts. 
That's terrible. Oh my gosh, I have such a potty mouth on me. Forgive me, everybody. I have such a potty. No wonder I keep getting banned on TikTok. Did I ever call? I think the only game I called uh, 1 800 on uh, was Maniac Mansion. I think the only time I. If, if I'm not mistaken, I think I called uh, Nintendo Power for Maniac Mansion. I think that was that, that was the only one. And we're getting lucky with the with the roofies here. <laughs> You're, you're forgetting, we have, we have a lot of blue-haired Californian Wokies in here that want to see me cancelled, Danny. Though so those Californians, they don't like me too much. Well, actually, actually, actually the, the, the Bakersfield people are right. They're a little bit more uh, rural and old-fashioned. It's all good, but, you know. <laughs> you know, we're, 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 we're talking LA in particular. getting any freaking hearts here. This is a, a big issue, guys. I need to farm for enough rupees to get this, uh, this whip. There you go. Finally dropping shit. Crazy, man. Man, I love the cover for Simon's Quest. What a just a freaking kick-ass cover. It's just got Simon on the front with his whip. And, I mean, even though he's a vampire hunter, you just get the Conan the Vibarian, Barbarian vibes. You know what I mean? Like, you see the Simon's Quest cover, and you look at it, and you're like, this motherfucker's a warrior. Like, it's pretty freaking dope. I, I love the Simon's Quest cover. Did, did any of you guys ever read the uh, Simon's Quest uh, Nintendo book? Did you, did any of you guys ever read the Simon's Quest Nintendo book? Good morning, Jen. Thank you very much for coming in. Sorry this is taking so long. We just need enough rupees to get this uh, Morning Star whip. We're not too far away. But we're getting closer. What are we? We need about another 39. So we're going to cut it close before nightfall. But uh... There we go. We're, we're doing a little bit better here now. There we go. How, how many more do we need? We need 21. We're getting very close, guys. Almost. Yeah, there we go. We're okay. Fuck yeah. Let's get out of here. That's it, guys. We're just going to go buy this whip, and then there's no more grinding for the rest of the game. Many pe So, Mickey says many people didn't like this game in the series. It's just... Uh, see... So, let, let's talk about a couple sequels on NES, okay? Now, technically, Mario 2 uh, is, is Doki Doki Panic from Japan, but ignoring Mario... Let's talk about NES sequels, and, and let's talk about the common denominator. This is a good topic of conversation. You know what, Nigel? What? Just do me a favour. I want you to just copy everything that you just posted in the chat and then paste it in our messages that is not a bad idea take take everything you just posted there for me please brother hit the copy button and then paste it in our private messages so i've got it as a reference one one says i really like your uh, consistent streaming schedule because i always can catch up with bro it's a must 
Dude, I I'm so lucky things, things aren't even dying more. Dude, if I didn't have a consistent streaming schedule, I'd have five people in here right now. Ha having a consistent streaming schedule is an absolute freaking must. Absolute must. It's like rule number one. Rule number one. Adam, thank you very much for the follow, dude. Thank you so, so much. So yeah, go going back to our topic of conversation, talking about sequels. Uh, what's So let's talk about Simon's Quest. Let's talk about Zelda 2. Let's talk about uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. What What is uh, the common denominator to all three of those games? What, what is the common denominator, guys? What is the common denominator between Simon's Quest, uh, Zelda 2, and Super Mario Bros. 2? Well, yeah, let's see if someone can pick up the common denominator. That, we got 11 over on TikTok. That's not bad for TikTok. Thank you, guys. That is pretty good for TikTok. Seven new followers there today, too. Do, do you guys know the answer? I'll tell you the answer in a sec. Exactly, thank you Joshy King. What they did was change the platform of the game. So when you got games like uh, Zelda, Super Mario Brothers, um, and uh, Castlevania Simon's Quest, I'll even say Final Fantasy VIII, um, the developers took a chance and tried to do something uh, completely different. So when the casual fans came back in and found out that their sequel was completely different, uh, rather than embrace it, uh, they were turned off, and uh, they just, uh, yeah, they just never gave it a chance, unfortunately, some people anyway. The, the irony is, um, if Zelda 2 was called something completely different, people probably would have embraced the game for what it is. Uh, Simon's Quest, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll admit I'm 50-50 on Simon's Quest. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 2. I mean, Doki Doki Panic was a pretty good game. I, I don't, I don't know uh, how popular Doki Doki Panic did in Japan, but it can't have done that bad if they wanted to reskin it for Super Mario Brothers 2. But uh, throw, yeah, see, Mega Man Legends is is, is another example. You, human, yeah. So human beings are fickle and they're complex too, bro. Because the, the moment you, you do a similar game to the original, they'll be like, Oh, this is nothing new. It's nothing different. And then you try to change something. People will be like, Oh, this sucks. They should have kept with the original formula. Like, it just... <sighs> Fuck, I'm exhausted talking about it. I do think the more you can embrace change, the happier your life will be. And uh, I certainly need to take that uh, advice to heart with, with the whole one point only thing as well. Maybe, maybe, maybe 80% of my content can't be retro anymore. I'm not saying give up retro, but maybe I need to go back down to, I don't know, 50% retro, you know? I, I might need to change. Which this is Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest, Maddie. Thank you very much for coming in. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't really complain. Like it's 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 exhausting to keep up with the moving goalposts all the time. But this is what I signed up for. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. You know what I mean? So it, it just is what it is. Yeah, how, how condescending was that of Japan to say, oh, you know what, they can't handle loss levels. Let's give them Doki Doki Panic. That's, 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 that's pretty condescending. <laughs> hey, thank you for that, Japan. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let me just have a quick water here, everybody.
To be honest, lost, lost, lost levels look too much like Mario 1. I, I don't think that's a bad thing. I always looked at lost levels as the game that carried on where uh, Mario 1 uh, left off. Like, really, you could call the first level of lost levels World 9-1, you know what I mean? So I, I just look at lost levels picking up exactly where Mario 1 left off. I, I'm not offended that it looked the same. I, I don't think more of the same thing is necessarily always bad. If they did four games that looks like that, yeah, you'd probably be pissed off. I think, I think, you know, obviously they had Mega Man 1 to 6. That all looked exactly the same. And by the time you got up to, like, number 5, it was, like, you know, starting to get old. Anyway. Once again, everyone, thank you for watching. Oh, we're going to use our little crystal here, everybody. You use our little crystal meth. Don't forget, guys, we're only 20 reactions away from 100 if you haven't had a chance to like it, everybody. So Mario Survivor says, you know how long it took me to realize that you could walk through that wall? I'm, I'm going to go out in a limb, uh, Mario, and guess 10 longs. I'm going to guess it took you 10 longs. Well, you know, apparently they're working on it, but I mean, I haven't heard any news, but apparently it's been worked on. Da -da -da -da, these nuts. Alright, let's get the fire whip here. Look at this, guys, I've got a burning whip. Look at this, guys. I've, I've got a burning whip, everybody. I might not get no. I might need to go see the doctor about this, because I've got a burning whip. Yes. This, this thing's pretty OP. Mastermind says you never made it this far. Well, dude, we only got one more mansion, then boom, we're, we're out of here. We're, we're very, very close to the end now. Just give me one second here. Uh, you absolute legends. I just have to check something quickly. Sorry about that, guys. Give me one sec. Da -da -da -da, these nuts. Da -da -da -da, these nuts. Here we go. Just fixing up my uh, soundproofing very quickly. Wait for a while. We go. We got it. Thank you, everybody. I don't like to be gone for too long. I think they made a cream for that. Oh, modern medicine is an amazing thing, Josh. Modern modern medicine is an amazing thing. You know what? You know what the scary thing is, uh, Jeff Tweedledee, Tweedledum? Everyone has been where they shouldn't have been at least once. Every, every man in his life, almost every man, okay, not everyone. I, I know, I'm not talking about the more religious to you got of you guys, respect. But almost every man has been somewhere and then afterwards gone, fuck, I really should not have done that. That everyone usually most people have usually experienced that at least once in their life. I want to hear everyone's story. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, how you going, Eris? Thank you for coming in. I hope you're great. <laughs> so poor Eris, I was I was being very sexist there for a second. I'm very sorry. Hope you're having a great day. Yeah, I've forgotten what they were called. They had the Nintendo game books. Uh, what were they called again? There was a few of them. I read Simon's Quest, and I owned the Wizards of Warriors one. And then they had Blaster Master and a couple other ones as well. No, so Super Porn is here until May the 9th. 
Um, and then I follow her back to Thailand on June the 4th. And then hopefully we come back together with her visa in July. So, uh, that, that's, that's our plan. So, I'm, I'm, I hope, hopefully we will not have to be apart for too long. But yeah, um, that's, that's, that's what's happening at the moment. Where we're seeing what, I mean, we, we experimented the first time. We, we just kept it very simple for the first time. And we got her a three month visa. We're gonna try and get her a multiple entry visa uh, this time round. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get her a multiple entry visa and uh, I'll be in Tha yeah, I'll be in Thailand for about four weeks. Nothing's changing here though. I have a portable gaming setup, Jen. Separate monitor, everything. You're gonna get the same quality stream while I'm away. And, and daily video uploads, nothing will be different. The only thing I have to work on is uh, the green screen effect. I know you guys like the green screen effect. Usually when I'm away, I have a, a, a camera border instead, but uh, I'm looking into that. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna see if, uh, if I've got any green screen options. If not, no big deal, but yeah. Yeah, so uh, we're staying at the same place. So the first two weeks we're gonna be in Chiang Mai, uh, we're staying in the same place uh, that we stayed at last time because the internet was exceptional and it's a good location and then we're going to her place for uh, about five days and her internet at home is also very good and then after that not sure what we're doing for the remainder yet we're sort of playing that by ear yes <laughs> Oh yeah, we're not doing really doing the touristy thing this time. You know, obviously, it's just trying to save money, but we just don't want to be apart, you know? We're just, you know, we're just going to work and then go out maybe in the evening. Um, have, have some dinner, listen to some live music, then come back home, work, and then go to bed. So it'll just be... I'll be trying to maximize my money while I'm over there, you know? One says that I've been brushing up on my tie. Now I haven't. I'm terrible. My tie, my tie is is terrible. Laksuka! <laughs> well, I mean, I think, I think, um, I think, putting turning Chad Gable heel. Got Sami Zayn a lot of sympathy, especially since it happened at Montreal. That was definitely the right place to do it. So I think Sami Zayn will be okay. I think he'll get a world title eventually. Might not be this year, but he'll get it eventually. He's still got time. Yeah, I, I don't know, Nigel. It's very unusual, isn't it, bud? Very unusual. I don't know, man. How you going, Jason? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate you, legend. Ah. So, so what, what, um, Kuda Slayer thinks is going to happen is Sami Zayn's going to lose the Intercontinental title really quickly, but then win money in the bank. You know what, dude? I think Sami Zayn would be the perfect person to give money in the bank. The perfect person. I, I couldn't have th even if he just has a world championship for a month. Fucking tick the box is ticked off, you know. Well, well, nothing now, Jan. Nothing now. But when she's at home, she helps out with the family's property. Cause. Uh, 
her um her family own like a, a farming and, and and building business so they they look after the you know they they they, they sell what they sow so to speak but uh not, nothing now jan yeah, I, I find i find if uh, if i'm uh i, I have her if i want to have her full time well then she can't work <laughs> So nothing now, I, yeah, nothing now. This is what, this is what she does for work. She takes care of her man. Very old fashioned, she's lovely. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, like, she, she's a very hard worker. But, um, if I want to have her full-time, I mean, how's she going to hold down a job, you know what I mean? She can't do that. But if I want her here full-time, that, that, that's a sacrifice we have to make, you know? I, I, I have to find a way to make it work. <laughs> Especially if she's here three months at a time, what employer's going to let her do that, you know what I mean? But especially in Thailand, you usually think you guys work hard. You know what jobs are like in Thailand? Most people in Thailand work a whole month and maybe get one, two days off tops. How you going, Anthony? Good to see you. Yeah, exactly. I think it was the right call to protect, uh, protect LA Knight as well. Oh, I was predicting the outcome of that match. That is exactly how I would have booked it. Uh, you know, AJ Styles getting his win back on LA Knight by cheating and then putting Cody over. I mean, that's how I would have done it. I don't, I don't think this is going to hurt LA Knight stock. No, I think I think AJ Styles' uh, role now is to put over younger talent, man. I, I think that's his role. Damo, thank you very much for the hundred diamonds, you legend. I appreciate you so much. What are we gonna do for Damo? Oh, we're gonna do this one, of course. Oh, thank you, big Damo. Tobias dropped a hundred diamonds too, by the way. Sorry, I didn't see that, Tobias. Tobias, thank you very, very, very much as well for dropping a hundred diamonds. If you're still in here, man, super generous. Thanks for looking out for your boy. Uh, XX, uh... C asked me a very good question. He said, do you think you'll be streaming in 10 years from now. I've got to answer that in two ways. Uh, my first answer is I would like to be streaming and would I still like to be doing this in 10 years time? My, my answer is 100% yes. Do I think I will be doing this in 10 years time? Not in our current trajectory, guys. I don't think we're going to survive, to be honest. I mean, I'm going to keep putting in the work and I'm going down swinging, but I, I'm not confident that we're going to be surviving in 10 years. I'm, I'm, I'm not confident that we got another 10 years. That, that's not to say that I don't want to, but yeah. One says his wife says hello. She says, you and Moe uh, make a cute couple. Well, thank you very, very much. We go all right, don't we? You guys are not so bad yourselves, I'm sure. Well, you, you asked me the question, XXC, and I gave you the honest answer. Uh, I guess people don't like the truth. Tobias with yet again more diamonds. Bro, you're popping like a Pringles can today. Thanks again, homie.
I think I went the wrong way. I think I need to go back and then go down the stairs. My bad. I fucked up, everyone. Forgive me. I fucked up, everybody. I fucked up. Alright, I'm gonna recover here, yo. We're gonna recover! I think, I think the bigger question is, what am I going to do after streaming? I don't know yet. I, I, pr I probably should maybe... I mean, I, I may, maybe at some point I'll have to stream once a day and then work on building something else as a transitional period. I'm not at that point yet, but... Uh, not Especially not while the community is being so generous, but... Uh, you know, I, there, there will be. I'll have to build something else eventually. I, I've got to make sure that 80-year-old me is taken care of, guys. I'm not sure what the first issue of Nintendo Power is. We had it in Australia, but we had to import it. I knew, I knew he was watching. I already knew he'd be watching. Could you imagine how complex a process would have been on that primitive programming as well? Although they were probably using Max. They might have been using Max. I don't know. Macs were pretty advanced, like if you, you, you could probably easily do pixel art on a Mac. I think I had the Super Mario Bros. 2 one. I think uh, I remember getting that magazine. Well, I didn't have it. Um, I was, I was uh, staying with my auntie on the holidays and her boyfriend, I think, imported the Super Mario Bros. 2 one. I think her boyfriend imported it. Here we go. We got the ending here, yo. <laughs> to, to everyone that's still in here, thank you for watching the stream this morning. I really do truly appreciate it, guys. Um, yeah. Thank you. Bloody shame, Damo, because he was having a phenomenal weekend up until that point, too. His weekend was pretty dope. I think he's going to get a pass for that one. That None of that was his fault whatsoever. But, man, I mean, how much bad luck can one dude have, hey? No, that's okay, Nigel. Thank you again. I'll message you. Awesome, bro. You have a good one, too, you legend. Thanks a lot. Yeah, the Aussies kind of had a bit of bad luck this weekend. <sighs> what the hell, Rick? Body. All right. Uh, I, I I don't think there is a, a, a I, I, I I pick neither Jeff. I, I would probably just put I, I would probably just off myself. <laughs> I pick neither. Just playing out the, the ending for you guys. Then I'll raid you guys and kick into a, another stream. 
Thank you very much once again for watching, guys. Not too late to hit the reaction if you haven't. Not sure what I'm playing tomorrow night yet. Uh, if I feel like Mario Wonder, I'll do that. If I feel like something else, I'll do that too. I, I got no fucking idea yet. You have a good one too, Anthony. Thanks a lot. No worries, Jermaine. You have a good one too. There you go, and then you see a big uh, hand come out of the ground, and bleh, that's that's basically it. All right, Facebook, you legends, thank you so much for coming in. I'll see you guys on the next stream, and uh, all the other platforms. Thank you for coming in as well, my friends on Kick. Um, I am just going to raid you into uh, another room as well. We always want to show support to the lovely people that support us as well. So. Uh, we're going to host a channel. Pure Retro's on right now. Perfect. So we're going to go host Pure Retro. And to everyone else, we will see you legends uh, next.